good afternoon guys today i'm gonna show you how do i fix my honda wb 20 xt the problem that you know i just got it uh it's pretty much brand new i use it like a couple times uh, maybe one or two twice i use it twice i'm uh, sorry for my accent guys uh, i try to do my best all right okay so today i just decide you know since i got it you know i'm just gonna empty uh, this little water from this plastic small swimming pool but the thing is i want to test it you know because it's been sitting in the, my storage since uh two two years and i forgot to take all empty the gas in the tank and the carburetor and it's got probably dirty now it, it won't start on I'm gonna try and see if you're gonna hear it, all right? See, that's, it's not working at all. Uh, it has some gas in the tank, but uh, I guess the carburetor is 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 dirty or, or the uh, the spray is the valve is probably like get, got uh, clogged. So this is what I'm, I'm gonna do. I do this all the time with my lawnmower. Anything that has a carburetor is the same, same old same. Same steps to fixing it, okay? So since I already got uh, been fixed my genera generator, gas generator and my lawnmower and my weed eater, I can do this one easy peasy, especially when it's Honda. Pretty, pretty easy to fix. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna use my work table and then, uh, you know, just to get it up. I just wanna be fancy, guys. Yeah, I, I just, you know, being show off. So I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see better. And then I'm gonna start taking apart the carburetor. I'm gonna start with the air filter from the top to the bottom, all right? And then um, it's pretty simple as long uh, you got, you know, a couple of tools like a 10 millimeter wrench, 11, I think. But just take pictures before you take them apart so you know how to, to put it back together. And very pay attention because some parts are very, very fragile like plastic. So just, 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 just don't try to uh, to hurt yourself and then to lose the parts, okay? The, that you win, that you that you not that that you gonna talk them apart. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna close the uh, gasoline valve. So it's closed. The I'm gonna shut it off the valve, the gas valve, and then I'm gonna remove. Uh, I already remove the the air filter. Then uh, I'm just gonna use the. I think it's a ten or ten millimeters socket. It's gonna be three. I'm gonna put the little container at the bottom to empty out the gas line, and um, you know, so you, you can tell it's gonna be kind of dirty, all right? It's only three screws. One, two. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now the top part, the top one. Now you take the uh, this part off. Like I said, pay attention where this little line goes. It goes to the exhaust. Just make sure uh, where everything goes. Okay, guys. Uh, there's some uh, gasket. Make sure in which direction it goes because it has a little um, orifice. You know that it's supposed to be go the uh, one way. Okay. Don't just try to. And then I'm gonna remove the um, the gas line which is here. I'm gonna remove the little clamp first. And um, and then I'll remove the, I'm gonna let uh, empty the gas tank in my little container, okay? There you go. Easy peasy, it's squeezy. And then I didn't spend any money. I think, well, I'll use a cleaner, brake cleaner that I used to clean it up. But you can tell, look at the gas. It's an old, old gas from two years ago. And this is one of the, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, what's it called? Water pump. It's a, it's a water pump, okay? And then, uh, 
you can just put it like sideways or you can take it all, all the way out okay <coughs> um look at the gas guys like the gasoline look the fuel how too yellow it is on the bottom i'm gonna remove the the uh the nut as well is it i think it's a 10 millimeter as well but i'm gonna just use the pressure tires here and then that's it pretty very easy just make sure when you take this one off it's gonna be more gas as you can see right here and it has a little o-ring uh, on the, uh, on the screw okay you wanna look there you go and it, and like it's like i said you, you don't see it too bad i've seen wars on this but still you know one of those little things the uh, uh from the gas it, it makes it makes the uh the carburetor uh, get clog okay like no more gas into into the um, into the carburetor but see how how bad is the gas all right now next is gonna be this little pin that's the fluorator take this little one don't lose it uh, because it's gonna be hard to find another one and look at this this one has a little spring at the bottom make sure it, it stays there so don't just gonna clean it on the side okay and that's it guys um because otherwise you had to buy the whole carburetor okay but this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it sideways turn it sideways so i had to remove the little um, screw on the bottom so the spray can come out out of the carburetor and we can start cleaning it okay so this is uh when i use a little flathead screwdriver i'm gonna show you see to um right here to the hole uh hold on and then uh right there there you go okay i'm gonna okay. do a flat I, I hit carburetor make sure it's don't clear. strip it because you're done if you strip it okay you're done you get to buy a new one i uh, also there uh, you can see ar around is it gonna be an o-ring don't touch it just leave it there okay okay and uh, just leave it the there and then when I uh, continue to unscrew the little screw that retains the spray and the carburetor. All right, now it's, it's loose. So I'm gonna turn it down the carburetor so it's gonna come out easy peasy. If, if it doesn't come out with yours easy peasy, just, um, heat it heat the carburetor down you know a couple things and then they're gonna come out okay there you go let me see there you go see i'm sorry you didn't get how do they come out but you know this is the two the two parts very important a carburetor like this one if it gets glug clog not glug <coughs> It gets clogged and then you have to unclog it. You have to clean it so it's not plugged, okay? This one too, the little one, the little guy too. So I'm gonna use a brake cleaner. You can use air, you can use uh, anything that can go through the holes, the little holes and, and unclog it, okay? But I'm gonna use a brake cleaner. I always use brake cleaner and then that's the way it's gonna be works, works out pretty good for me. About this, um, Brake cleaner at Walmart because it's cheaper than the auto parts. So all that you gotta use spray to sp spray it. There you go. See. So now it's it's now it's good. Now it's clean, guys. Yeah, easy peasy. It's squishy. Okay. That now the little one, little screw, because that has it has another hole too in the middle. Ah, uh, well, how do you say the, the whole, uh, okay. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm just clean it up for a little bit from outside, but uh, it's not bad at all because I use it like a couple times only. Clean it, make sure everything looks nice. 
nice and tight. Then I'm gonna start putting back all the parts back on, okay? That's it, it's pretty simple, you can see guys. Okay, this is, is the spray, it, it just go one way, okay? Because if you try to put it the other way, once you put the screw, it's not gonna go in, okay? So, this is the way it goes, okay? <coughs> and just start it all the way down, not too hard, you know, just whatever your hand can turn it like that. There you go. One more time, just to verify. There you go, because you don't want to strip the screw, okay? And then that's it. Let's go back and put everything back together, guys. Let me just give it a better angle so you can see how do I did it. Oh, 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 O'Reilly, O'Reilly, out of all parts. Ow! Well, finally, at the end, I had to remove the carburetor, you know? It's always something, guys. It's not always like easy as it looks. But make sure everything is uh, has all the gaskets, the seals, the little spring here. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And then uh, this video, I I took it out like back in the summertime, but I guess I didn't have chance to upload it until November. 18 today 2021 okay so i'm gonna just put it in fast motion so you can see how everything goes okay oh make sure that before i remember you had to empty it out the the tank the fuel tank and spray inside put a little more gas or so all the gas the bad gas the old gas is gonna come out okay make sure that everything is clean even in the fuel tank, okay? Don't just let it, you know, run with the all, more oil gas and put in more gas. No, make sure it's empty all the way. Like like you see right here, I almost forgot, but you see now the gas is coming out nice and clean. That's what I'm talking about, right? And then after that, you just put all the, um, the washer back on, the fuel line, and we're good to go, okay? But make sure the gas tank, the gas in the tank is clean. So you can spray in it and let the gas run out until it gets uh, uh, clean, okay? All right. Now we're gonna put this part right here, the float. This is the one that uh, <coughs> Uh, make the gas stops when the little um, carburetor is full of gas. Okay. All right. Now the screw with the O ring. And uh, there you go. Okay. And now, uh, after this, everything just works out pretty good. So let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I watched another videos about this one, but they really, they didn't show really, you know, a, a, a really close close up for the carburetor cleaning. But that's all you need, guys. Anything on that has a carburetor is always the same problem. It gets dirty, all gas, and you have to clean the carburetor and the tank, okay? It's always the same thing. Yeah. And always make sure that you have um, oil and gas and a clean air filter, right? Okay. Sorry, I'm taking me too long. All right. So now the air filter, it goes like that. Simple, 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 pretty simple. Okay. Now the butterfly on top. All right, now don't forget to clean the gas tub, the cup, the gas cup as well. Put fresh gas. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, uh, seafoam on my, on my fuel um, engines, all right? That's it, guys. Okay, let's try it again. It's going to be the final try. 
Okay, I'm gonna go now my hoses and I'm gonna show you how that works. It works pretty, pretty good. But I guess I'm gonna send this little water pump to Mexico. I guess they need it more than here because, you know, we need it more over there. Oh, this is Rocky right here, my dog. Who let the dog out? Who? 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 Who let the dog out? Okay. It's the time to get started, okay? Uh, put the the fuel, uh, fuel, this one right here. Open it and make sure the lever on top is all the way to the, uh, to the left, okay? Choker is like that. And let's get started on. There you go. First. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna put the lever back on. Yay! Yay! We did it! We did it! We did it! There you go. I have to bleed uh, the water line. Uh, there you go. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Alright, it's ready guys. Thank you for watching. Everything looks nice. Come on, let me show you real quick. See my wife over there. It's a firefighter. Hose, water hose. That is, it has a lot of power, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Alright. See you next time on the next episode with Daniel the Rescue and my little son Daniel the Little Rescue. Alright, see you next time.